Good morning. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. It is a nice, uh, rainy, foggy, kind of warm Sunday morning, December 18th. Next week is Christmas. So I decided to do a little baking. I'm going to make some candy. Um, the first, oh, and this is in the kitchen of Kathy. So hello, everybody. I haven't been around for a while. Um, I'm going to do a toffee, which is pretty easy, but I want to show you like my cookbook that I've had for probably 30, 40 years that has just been through quite a bit of flipping and lots of recipes and things just got messed up, but um, it's my old faithful Betty Crocker cookbook. And when I cook, and if you take a look here, this is so nice when I get all the nice cards from people that have sent pictures. So nice to look at that while I am baking. So we're going to do the toffee. So to begin with the toffee, you're going to need pecans, brown sugar, margarine or butter, but I use the good stuff, butter, why not, and semi-sweet chocolate chips. So the first thing we have to do is I'm going to do two cups of chopped pecans, okay? Um, in my cookbook, I, I'm doubling the recipe because I'm making these for hopefully uh, a lot of people. So we're just going to chop them. This is just like a $50 little Cuisinart mini little food processor. If you, didn't want it, if you didn't want to invest in like a real big 11 or 14 cup one. I'm not sure if you should have said those are for presents. Oh. What if some people don't get any? Oh, okay. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that was pretty good, figuring that out. I'll just keep that. It's a little over, but that's okay. So. So now we need to go over here, because what I need to do is I have to butter the bottom of a, it says nine by nine by two square pan, but like I said, I'm doubling the recipe, so I just use this side, whatever this is. I don't even know what size this is. Probably a nine by 13, it looks like. This isn't gonna be very helpful for your fans at home. Why? I don't know what size pan this oh, well, is. I guess I could measure it or look on the back. You could just tell them it's a standard chicken glass pan. Yeah. Um, it's a chicken pan. I don't know, it's probably a 9 by 13. And this is just a great size pan if you're making lasagna, Rice Krispie treats, all sorts of yummy stuff. So, butter it up so we can, you know, follow me on that. Maybe that's where the uh, saying came from. She's buttering me up. Okay. So now, you just spread the pecans in the bottom of the pan. Spread them evenly. Good old shake. It's always good. Okay. Now in uh, we need to heat up the sugar, which I said I'm using um, a cup. I'm using a cup of butter. I mean, uh, the, um, I'm using a cup of a cup of butter, and I'm using one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, which I'm going to heat up over here. So that's going to need to come to a boil and then stir constantly because whenever you're dealing with sugar and butter or making any type of candy, um, you need to watch it very attentively because it could burn very, very quickly if you get doing something else. This pan over here is for completely something else. I made a peanut brittle and I'm probably going to be prepared to make another of that. So maybe we'll show them that later? Maybe, yeah. If they're good? If everybody's good. Not naughty. They have to be nice. OK, 
Okay, so we're stirring this over medium heat to boiling, constantly stirring, usually about seven minutes. And um, just so everything gets mixed in very evenly and thoroughly and all together. What's in this one again? This here has a cup and a half of brown sugar. Hard packed, whenever you're measuring brown sugar, if it's a cup, you press down on it very, very hard in the measuring cup. Don't well, some things you most. sift and you make light, like flour, you would sift it and make it light. Right, that's, well you sift, because you might have other ingredients and you want it evenly sifted together, so all the ingredients blend together. And then I have a cup of butter. As you know, a stick of butter equals a half a cup. So I have two sticks in here. Well, maybe some of your younger viewers wouldn't know that. No, a lot of people, but it says it right on the butter. But if you buy butter, I guess if you buy butter in a block or something, you'd have to, I don't think it measures it out very well. But if it comes in the four quarters, it tells you uh, there's little markings on the wrapping, so it makes it nice and easy. Now, have a cookie sheet ready. Um, I've already measured out my chocolate chips because once this gets poured over the pecans, we have to sprinkle the chocolate chips on it and then put a cookie sheet over it to keep that heat in because the heat is going to help melt the chocolate chips on top of this brown sugar and butter. Okay, oh, it smells really good. So try to get everything organized because you don't want to be racing around like, oh, I gotta get that, I gotta get this, and then you've lost sight of what you're doing. Now I am stirring this for a few more minutes. You can look down over there. I got my Christmas tree on. Just for the nice ambiance. And then I have my little uh, sideboard of a little bit of Christmas. All those nice things that we like and we enjoy each year. And tell people why there can't be Christmas music playing in the background. We can't have Christmas music playing in the background because we don't have permission uh, from any of the artists or whatever. So there's copyright laws. Okay, so take a look at that. Like how it's bubbly. Looks kind of weird. And get your spatula. We'll add some music after we uh, after the edit. Okay. So now. Uh, immediately spread the mixture over the pecans. Is this when you need the uh, water gel burn dressing? No, nope, not if you're careful. You should be fine. Remember to turn your stove off. Always be aware of your stove, where your pot holders are. Nothing near where anything can catch on fire. Be aware all the time. Things happen so fast. So now we're just going to spread this yummy, gooey batter over the pecans. Nice and even, trying not to mix up the pecans in it, just spreading it. Give it a little shake. It's always good to help even it out. Now we sprinkle the chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are the good, the full-size ones too, right? These aren't mini. Yeah, these are the Cole House. I don't know if you'd want to use bittersweet or anything like that. Um, I guess maybe another, you know, you could experiment because they have so many 
different types of chocolate chips out there, you know, like peanut butter or um, a salted caramel might be good, you know, so you just always experiment. Where do you get salted caramel chips? Probably at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> So now, we just spread this out, trying to get all around. And what happens now? Now we're going to put our cookie sheet over it for a little bit, so the chocolate will melt, and this will help hold in the heat. And while you're cooking, whether you're Doing it with a cup of coffee. This is my mug I got from Ireland that we went to. Uh, or a little bit of bourbon. Last year. Or I'm a big seltzer drinker, seltzer. Or if you want and you're baking in the morning or afternoon or whatever, you wine drinkers, beer drinkers, whatever, it's always fun to have a little beverage while you're waiting for stuff to stop. So we wait a few minutes and we'll come back. Yep. Okay. Time's gone by. So I let it the chocolate melt, and you can see it's nice, evenly distributed. No more chips. So what you need to do now is cut them into about one and a half inch squares now before you refrigerate it. And just use a little paring knife. It's kind of still gooey, right? Yeah. And then I just wipe it clean after each little strip of cut that I do just makes it easier for um, to cut it so hopefully it doesn't get hung up too much you should have probably put that on uh, wax paper I'm thinking what that chocolate that you're wiping away Oh, to eat it? No. <laughs> You're putting on a piece of paper. Who's going to eat it off of that? Well, I'm just going to throw this away. Why would you throw away chocolate? Oh, we got plenty of it. Oh, uh, what are we, rolling in chocolate? Yep. We chocolate millionaires? We got chocolate from Patty. All right, we're gonna go away, okay. and when we come back, we'll have some bars that are cut up. And then, just refrigerate it. I'm gonna cover it. All right, so you're cutting them out. Okay, so they've been refrigerated for quite a few hours. This is why you cut it. Uh, when it's a little bit, when it's hot, and then so let's see. Mm. They're good, very sweet. I have my taste tester over here. He's my photographer. Mm. So now you have a nice treat, very easy to make. Put them in a pretty little bin or jar. I think if I was going to package these up, I would put some, um, I would get wax paper and then line your little tin or your little box or whatever you were going to um, put them in. Um, and then wrap them with uh, saran wrap. So, that is that. Very good. Hope everybody does very well with the toffee. What were these called again? Toffee. <laughs> Just plain toffee? <laughs> toffee. Again, uh, this recipe, I doubled it, but it usually, well, how this reads is a cup of chopped pecans, three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar, a half a cup of margarine or butter. Uh, use the good stuff, butter. Plus I use unsalted butter. I always use unsalted butter. 
and a half a cup of the semi-sweet morsels. Butter your square pan, nine by nine by two. I did a bigger pan because um, I, I doubled it up. Spread the pecans in the bottom of the pan evenly. Heat the sugar and the butter or slash margarine to boil, constantly stirring for about seven minutes. Immediately spread that mixture over the pecans and then take your chocolate chips, sprinkle it over, put a little cookie sheet over it, let the chocolate melt, spread it out nice and evenly and be very careful and then cut it in your little squares and refrigerate it and you're good to go.